Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files, as shown in this video, in case you make any mistakes. I advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is back at you with another LSPDFR tutorial. And this mod is something new. Just came out a few hours ago. I saw it. I said, you know what? Let's give it a try. Let's put it out there. Let's see how it is. Of course, we're going to go into the game. We're going to check it out. Folks, let's get into it. First thing you're going to do is click the link down below that says Police Menu. And this is by Ricey Vasco, Ricky Vasco. I think it's Ricey Vasco. Um, but either way, um, it, it, says, it, it does some pretty cool things. Um, it, it brings up a menu to be able to do all sorts of things um, on your uh, in your LSPDFR. So let's check it out. Click the download this file, agree and download, and let it do its thing. Okay, and done. There it is. And let's close out of that and let's minimize our web browser. Now, you got readme files here, folks. Always check out these readme files if you're unsure on what to do. So, um, this is what this is what we're going to do here. Now, uh, first off, let's start with our main directory. Go ahead and bring up the main directory right there. And go to your disk drive that your Steam games are installed through. Program Files Times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. Your GTA folder is gonna be right there. Go ahead and double click it and hold tight. I'm gonna go into mine, which is right here. All right, so I am inside my GTA folder. You should see your plugins folder, your mods folder, LSPDFR, all that good stuff. Okay, so let's kind of bring this right here for now. And in the WinRAR, we're gonna double click the Grand Theft Auto folder. And you see that plugins folder? We're gonna go ahead and take that plugins folder, drag it, and drop it in. All right, and you'll see your plugins folder highlight. Double click it, go up to LSPDFR, double click that. And now we have, if we scroll down, we have police menu I and I with the little sprocket. Double click that. So this is the key binds that you can that you can that you can change um the menu key is n with the left control uh interaction x with left control y with left control now if i end up keeping this mod if i like this mod i will put these in my stream deck um the dialogue interaction in the menu with the modifier key so we're not going to change anything with this we're just going to exit out of that next in the winrar you want to hit this back button the back arrow and double click open IV, okay? In police menu, police menu YTD. Now, here is the pathway. We're all set in here, but I'm gonna minimize it because I wanna show y'all something, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and fire up our open IV. And click Windows and start her on up. Mine is gonna automatically start in edit mode. You see that? Automatically starts in edit mode. Thanks for our boy, Criminal Justice. Crap! If you want yours to do the same thing, go to tools, go to options, and under default work mode, yours might say read only. Just go ahead and click it and click edit and then close out. That way, every time you open up your open IV, you're automatically in edit mode. All right, so we've got our open IV, WinRAR, and our README. This is the pathway that we want to take, okay? So we're going to go to uh, update, update.rpf. And you, you can click show in mods folder. I'm going to go ahead and click show in mods folder. Okay. Uh, Update.rpf times 64. Data. CD images. And then scale form underscore generic. Scale form underscore generic. Not generic too. Scale form underscore generic. Double click it. Whoops. Okay. So. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to favorites and you're gonna click add to favorites and you're gonna name it police menu. And I'm gonna show you why, okay? 
and click add. Now, there's two files in here, the police menu.gfx and the police menu.ytd. What we're gonna do is on the desktop, we're gonna right click and select new folder. Man, fat fingers today. I got fat fingers every day. We're gonna name that police menu. What we're gonna do is we are going to back up our police menu files. Cause if you wanna remove this mod, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So th this is GFX right here and you can see police menu GFX. So we're gonna scroll down until we see police menu, which is not in here. So maybe there is nothing we have to uh, back up which is great if that's the case let me make sure there's no police menu okay there's not so we do not need this so here's what we're going to do still save this under your favorites so what you're going to do is you're going to take these two files right here okay remember mods update update.rpf time 64 data cd images scale form generic save it under police menu and this is where you want to be you're going to take both of these files here, police menu GFX, police menu YTD, drag, drop. Okay. Now we should have our police menu up in here. Uh, where in the heck is it? Okay, th believe me, they're in here. So, we can exit out of the WinRAR. We can exit out of um, the README. And back to our main directory, okay? Let's say you go into the game, you do not like it, you want to remove it. You're going to go back to your main directory, double-click it. You're going to click Plugins, LSPDFR, and you're going to scroll down to Police Menu. And you're going to select these two files okay you're going to select these two files simply right click and delete them okay then you're going to open up your open iv you're going to go to favorites let's say we're in something else you're going to go to favorites and you're going to hit that police menu and it's going to bring you here and what you're going to do is you're going to look for the police menu there it is there's the first one we installed you're simply going to right click delete that one and then you're going to scroll down to the police menu YTD, uh, which is right here. And then you're going to right click and delete that one. And then boom, the mod is out of your game. But we don't want to do that right now. We can now exit out of everything. Folks, let's jump into the game. Let's check this out. I'll see y'all in there. All right, y'all. So here we are in the game. First test. We loaded in, went on duty, no crashes, no glitches, no funny business. Let's now check out the mod. So, uh, it said to bring up the dialogue key. It is going to be control Y. Let's try that, the interaction key. Uh, that is section 136 call out. So, uh, menu key, left control and N. Oh. Look at that. So you can take your hat on and off. If I was wearing, oh, there's the hat. So control and N. Uh, glasses, edit glasses, edit hat. Put gloves on and off. So we got some gloves on. Okay, I'm kind of, now again, the this can be set to your stream deck. Um, this is, we're, Go to a vehicle and start writing a ticket. Press Y to write a ticket for this vehicle. Check this out, y'all. Check this out right here. Issued by Sergeant Gibson. Look at that. Look at that. I got to change that to Lieutenant Gibson. But uh, it's got the date, the time, the amount due. This is, uh, this is pretty cool violation parked in handicap uh Can't more copy that. comments and backup required no backup's not required and then uh once you're done you click this button right here 
and you just gave them a parking ticket. That is pretty cool, okay? I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty cool. Uh, open police computer. Okay, let's go, let's see if that will work. Oops, let's see if that will work in the car. Control N will remove the menu, or no, oh, you just hit the X. So let's go into the police cruiser and let's hit the control N and go to the police computer, pad database, enter pad full name. So here's what we're gonna do. We're really gonna make sure, we're really gonna make sure this works. So let's go find a pad. Let's go find a pad. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie y'all. I am, uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited right now. I'm kind of excited right now. So let's get out. And here's what we're going to do. Wait up! All right. So we want we want his ID, right? Hey, you. You got your ID? Ask an ID from the pad. And his name is Shade Doyle. All right, Mr. Shade, you hold tight right there. Shade Doyle. So we're going to get in here. Control N. Go here. Shade Doyle and search. It's not searching. Oh, wait. And search. Could not find head. Try again. Okay, so is this all just for show? Is, is this whole thing like maybe it was because maybe it was because I did like Shade Doyle. Enter. Oh, it's because it was all capital. Wow, there it is. Look at that. Create citation, create arrest report. So you could use this instead of Compulite. Folks, I don't know. I, I think we're on something new here, folks. I think we're on something new here. Uh... I am uh, I am kind of digging this right here. So um, I don't know. Kind of digging this. Now it does say that there is an interaction key. So if we do Control Y, that does nothing. And Control or oh, that's dialogue. Control X just keeps bringing up Section One Three Six. So. I gotta change that one, what that one three six call out there. But I'm kind of liking this. Control N. It brings up this menu here. Um, you can change your gloves. You can change your hat. You can change your glasses. Write that ticket. Use that police computer. Um, I believe that is it. Uh, I, I like I said. I don't exactly know uh, with the dialog box um, as it is not working for me. Uh, my X key brings up my section 136, so I might have to change that. But again, uh, the it is not bringing up the uh, whatever the, the dialogue and interaction key uh, might be. Maybe it's because I have... St he's on stop the pad. Let me maybe try and find somebody else. So... If the developer of this mod sees this video, which I'm sure they will, because I will post it on their LSPDFR page in case people, I know some people like to see how it's installed and, and they like to see the mod showcased. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just looking for somebody that I can go up to that I don't have on stop the pad uh, because maybe the... Uh, okay. There we go. Maybe this lady is. Spare change for 114 kittens. Damn, 114. Those are agents of Satan. Okay, so da -de -da. not really sure what the dialogue and interaction buttons do, but we do have the menu that allows you to put your gloves, put your hat, put your glasses on. If I had glasses, which ones? Okay, so it's got some cool shades. Listen, y'all, I dig this. 
Uh, I'm, I, I believe, I think, I'm going to put this in my stream deck. I'm going to put it in my game. I'm going to put it in all my files. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Again, if the developer is watching this video, please, down in the comment section, let me know. Let us know what the dialogue and interaction keys do or if they're maybe they're just not working yet um i really hope this video was helpful to you if you're new here and it was please consider supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you know when new content is added also also folks please hit that thumbs up the more thumbs up this video gets the more people it can help just like it did with you until next time everybody be safe, be healthy, be positive, follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. Later, y'all.